Hello and welcome to program 57 in this series of programs and tutorials that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. As always, if you're not part of our email list, then please go to markplex.com and uh, I will then send you updates when I release new programs or tutorials. So program 57 is a volume profile program and what it does is it calculates the volume profile for a part of the day using a tick based price series provider. So this is applicable to uh, intraday minute type charts and in the examples that I'm going to be showing on the screen over the next few minutes I'm using the first hour of the day. So what it does is for that period of time, and you can see I've got a um, mini DAO on the screen here at the moment, it goes through the period that we're analysing, and uh, in this particular case that is from 0645 to 745, and it calculates the volume, or the ticks depending on user inputs, and I'll talk about that more in a second, at each price level. What it then does is draws them, as you can see here, it colour codes them, and uh, uses the gradient tool between two colors that are user defined. And it also finds the pivot, in other words, the place in this profile where, where the volume is the greatest. And then what it does for the rest of the day is it draws three, or rather plots, three horizontal lines, one at the, the lowest price of the period that we're analyzing, one at the highest price, of the period that we're analyzing and um, one at this point of greatest volume or rather at the price where the greatest volume occurs during the time period being analyzed. So this program does need to have a bar for the finish time and a bar for the start time. It is also the volume itself is calculated uh, very accurately but obviously because of limitations of the drawing tools these are just drawing from bar to bar but it gives you an idea of how the volume is distributed. The program also uses local time rather than exchange time. So let's go and have a look at the user inputs. It's going to double click and the inputs are as follows. First date. Now this is when the program starts drawing the volume profile. It will still draw the high and the low, or rather plot the high and the low of the time being analysed earlier than that, but this is the date when it will start calculating the volume profile. And the reason that I've added this input is because this program is using tick data, it is doing a lot of, of processing and uh, consequently you really want to make this date as late as possible, perhaps give yourself two or three days of uh, volume profile information because the program does a lot of calculation. Start time, this is the first bar in the period being analyzed. End time, the last bar in the period being analyzed. Ticks or vol, now if this is uh, if this is set to one, then we use volume. If this is set to zero, then we use ticks. So for example, if you were looking at a for forex chart, you would probably want to make this to be zero, so you'd analyze ticks. In terms of the colors, you see here that we've got red and uh, his color one and his color two. These are the colors that are the ranges, uh, the hist volume histogram and the red being the lower end of volume and this color here which is actually a green color or I put it in an RGB format uh, is the color for the higher volumes. And then these are the colors of the lines that we plot green for the top line, red for the bottom line and uh, the volume pivot line yellow and you can change obviously any of these to your needs. The program does assume that the start time is before the end time and uh, as I say we do need to have bars for those times. So just to show you I'm just going to move back in this chart and you'll see that for earlier dates we're not seeing the volume histogram but we are seeing the high and the low of the earlier periods. Okay so uh, the program can be applied to futures, stocks and also as I mentioned to foreign exchange. Technically the program uses dictionaries, vectors and the new TradeStation drawing objects and uh, if you do decide to download this program I do provide the source code so you can try and uh, understand how it works a little a little bit more um, 
and modify it if you wish and it is also commented throughout. So anyway I hope you might find this program useful.